Welcome to the program. Al Jazeera has obtained a leaked telephone conversation which suggests that the toppled Yemeni president has been working with the Houthi rebels. The audio is dated late September when the Shia group took control of the capital, Sana'a. Ali Abdullah Saleh is heard apparently coordinating military and political moves with Houthi leader Abdul Wahid Abu Ras. Well, let's bring in Hashem al now. Hashem has reported extensively across Yemen, has been following developments for us uh, over the last few days with events in the capital. Hashem, so we have these extraordinary recordings allegedly of the former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh, basically coordinating political and military moves with the Houthis. If true, this is pretty explosive. Absolutely, and this confirms some of the uh, accusations that, that were levelled against uh, Saleh by the international community and by the Americans in particular in November. Because in November, the United Nations imposed sanctions on President, uh, former President uh, Ali Abdullah Saleh, accusing him of plotting with the Houthis to destabilise Yemen and to undermine the authority of President uh, uh, Abdul Rabbu Mansour Hadi. Very interesting because in, in, in the phone conversation we hear him talking to uh, Abdul Wahid Abu Ras, who is a top military, uh, a, a top Houthi military commander, asking him about how to coordinate moves in the future to undermine uh, Saleh, to undermine Abdul Rabbu Mansour Hadi. And, uh, and the top military commander was all the time saying, yes sir, yes sir, it shall happen. Let's listen to this part where he talks about how Abdul Wahid Abu Ras has to reach out to some of the aides of Saleh to coordinate efforts about the future. So, so that was um, uh, Saleh there asking the Houthi commander to get in touch uh, with Saleh's people. Extraordinary stuff. Now, I mean, he may be the former president, but behind the scenes, the reality is, Hashem, that he still wields substantial political power. Um, are we starting to see now the re-emergence of Saleh into the political stage under the cover of this Houthi takeover? Because that's what some of the evidence of these tapes suggest. Well, this is someone, someone who ruled Yemen for 33 years. He has an impressive uh, legacy there in Yemen in terms of uh, patronage network that he built in Yemen. He was once quoted as saying that ruling Yemen is like uh, dancing over the heads of snakes. Ali Abdullah Saleh still has the loyalty of thousands of people, top military commanders, wealthy businessmen, tribal leaders across the country. In this video conversation, we hear him asking, uh, saying to the uh, uh, Houthi uh, uh, commander, if the president Hadi says that I'm going to appoint this man as prime minister, say no to him because I have my own alternatives. I suggest you go for this guy. Otherwise, if not happy with this guy, go for the for, for, former minister. We're talking about people who are loyal to Ali Abdullah Saleh. But what's quite interesting is the moment when they start talking about what happened after the Houthis took over the airport. And we hear Abd Ali Abdullah Saleh saying that, make sure that my opponents never given a chance to leave the country. Apparently, he wanted to take revenge or to settle some of the old scores with them. Let's listen to what he had to say. So, so Saleh clearly saying there that no planes should be allowed to fly, otherwise those comrades uh, will be able to escape. I mean, that's extraordinary stuff. Uh, how damaging could this be for the former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh? Well, it's definitely going to uh, create some political issues there in Yemen. Ali Abdullah Saleh has been all the time coming out saying that I'm innocent, uh, uh, politics is a turned chapter, I'm no longer a president, I'm no longer interfering with uh, domestic affairs in Yemen, leave me alone. Mm. But from the phone conversation, it would suggest it, that's not true. It portrays a different image of the man, a man who is really willing to, to, to be there. I still remember I was invited to his palace about two years ago and I uh, asked him a question and asked some of his own people, is this the end of an era? They said, no, wait for us, we're coming back in 2014. This man 
feels like he's been betrayed by the international community and now he wants uh, a payback. Mm. Uh, let me get a final thought from you, Hashem. I mean, how are these recordings likely to play into the current scenario of what we're seeing happening uh, in Yemen, happening in the capital? Uh, we even heard from Ali Abdullah Saleh uh, today say that, uh, that, that or give a call for fresh elections uh, and for national dialogue. So he's starting to play back onto the stage now. Uh, but how is all of how are these recordings playing into what what we've seen happen over the last few days? Well, you will see more people now skeptical about the outcome skeptical about the, the, the relationship between the Houthis and between Ali Abdullah Saleh. But at the same time now, in Yemen, it seems like you're not going to have any other option but diplomacy. You have to give diplomacy a chance to prevail. The GCC country, who are really extremely powerful, they have huge leverage in Yemen, particularly Saudi Arabia, issued a statement about two hours ago saying that the Houthis have to pull out and they condemned their, uh, their, their attacks on the presidential palace uh, yesterday in the day. Uh, before. The Houthis themselves are at a very critical situation because they are looking for the balancing act. Because they do understand that if they launch a coup against Hadi, that would create a, a power vacuum. The international community is not going to uh, recognize any other authority that comes uh, uh, off the back of uh, toppling uh, Ali Abdullah uh, Hadi. I think the Houthis would love this following scenario. A weak, undermined president who is politically beholden to them for the years to come. And they'd like him to stay there. Exactly. Right. Uh, just a final thought, Hashem. I mean, as you say, the situation politically is extremely complex. As you say, what is clear that the Houthis uh, are basically running the show now. What do you think will end this crisis? Will it be violence or diplomacy or some combination of both? We, we know from our sources that there are talks underway now between representatives of the president and also representatives of the Houthi. The Houthi leader, Abdel Malik, made it quite clear that he wants four conditions met as soon as possible for him to be able to move forward. He wants uh, uh, to change, or, uh, change the makeup of the committee which is drafting the constitution. He wants to change some of the articles in the constitution. He wants to be given bigger representation in this transitional period. And he wants to be recognized as the most powerful man in Yemen. If those conditions are met, I doubt most of those conditions will be met because Hadi still thinks of himself as the ultimate legitimate leader of Yemen. If they get to some sort of compromise, you'll see a settlement, but I doubt that we're going to see permanent stability mm. in Yemen. Conflicts and instability will continue for the near future. Yeah, the story goes on and on. Hashim Habara, thank you very much indeed.